Okay, let's take a look at how you might use Reflect as a CRM. So let's just say you met a friend for lunch. In this case, I do met with bracket bracket to do a backlink, JD Ross for lunch. And then I might write some call notes about the meeting. Thank you, Anna. Okay. Now you'll notice that Reflect has created me this page and it does this because it knows that JD Ross is one of my contacts and it's pulled all this information in from my Google contacts. You can see his, his phone numbers and emails in here. And it's added the system level of person tag. If you click on this person tag, then you can see all the people in your database. So let's go back to JD. Here in the incoming backlinks, you'll be able to see the ongoing notes whenever you meet him. And they'll, they'll just pop up in the incoming backlinks whenever you mention the JD Ross uh, backlink. Now we might want, might want to put his title in here. And we might want to backlink that co-founder and also company. So the, the company that he works for is Royal. And he used to work for open door. Okay. So for the, both of these, I'm going to go into these backlinks. So if I just select this backlink and then do command and ent enter command return, I can go in here and I'm going to create my own tag called company. And I'm going to put in royal.io as the domain name. And so this now corresponds to Royal, this page. And if I go back, I can do the same with open door company, open door .com. Okay. So now if I ever want to see who works at open door, I just have to go to my all notes. Maybe I just go to company here. Or I can just type in open door here. And then I can see that JD Ross works at open door and the same things, or used to work at open door, the same things goes with Royal. Now, one other thing I like doing here is putting people's locations in here as well. So if we go back to people, we go to JD Ross, we can just do location, Austin, Texas. This is kind of the, the way that I like writing it. So if this created this new note, Austin, Texas, we're going to put location on here, a little hashtag, custom hashtag. And now this is a location. So if I, again, if I go to my all notes and I go to the custom tags, location, I can see Austin, Texas in here, and then I can see all my friends that live in Austin, Texas. And this is just a great way of when you're visiting a city, seeing exactly who's there.